IT function or the technology function within businesses uh, has has gone up in the estimation of the of, of the business leaders uh, because of how uh, the, because of the performance and the dependency that, that that was so obvious. If anybody thought that IT was a cost center, it was a wake up call uh, for those uh, back in April May time frame when this pandemic was uh, hit and they were caught unprepared. But IT is no longer a cost center. It's an investment. I'll just a quick word about our industry, um, the tech and telecom industry. Um, it, it, it's it's not hyperbole to say that it has performed heroically during the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, it did so and continues to do so alongside healthcare and emergency services and all the other key worker areas. You know, the, the whole world, uh, much of the world already knew how important these technologies were to our lives, but uh, but it really brought home, you know, how uh, important these technologies are to us. And indeed, uh, you, you know, really, <clears throat> after some initial expectations of a complete collapse, none of that happened, and it really worked out very well. So uh, it's quite quite a proud year to be in this industry. Microsoft said that three years of digital trans transformation was, happened in three months after COVID. Companies just spend way too much time and energy trying to predict the unpredictable, and then building highly detailed plans around those unreliable predictions. So people are not going to be tied to any particular site, location, or country. It's, it's uh, uh, hiring and you know, uh, hiring support staff is going to be pretty flexible. Anybody could work from anywhere, so that's, that's great. So that that gives a that gives a very wide and deep uh, access to the uh, global talent. What about the, the the decisions and the investments that are making now um, on an emergency basis um, will actually become permanent? traditional businesses which are really transforming and if they don't they're going to be destroyed but there's also just incredible new opportunities so it's creative destruction uh, and we need to embrace all of this transformation in AI. We see too many companies that still view IT as a cost center and something to be minimized when times are tough instead of viewing technology as the best approach to saving money across all their functions using advanced automation some of the other things that we were talking about uh, like everybody else we have done a lot of shift to the cloud uh, so so this whole concept of uh, you know, keep your it landscape simple straightforward scalable agile that's 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 very very important in fact that goes a uh, that goes long ways in terms of uh, handling any future challenges I think we'll see it normalized, but I think everybody is going to move in that broader direction of automation and analytics and uh, AI. I think that's the broad picture. The acceleration was on the acquiring and adopting these new technologies of smart glasses and, and whatnot with uh, remote capabilities in order to do collaboration around the world with our engineering group. And you will find you will increasingly need to partner with companies um, that are willing to co-create with you, co-develop with you, um, uh, experiment with you um, in, in adopting these new technologies. Every single business has the potential to become an AI accelerated computing business. And it's not late, it's actually early to apply the innovations of each of those businesses and make these transformations happen. A CEO at a, a healthcare company recently tell me that uh, that they've made they make more decisions in a day right now than they made in a quarter um, before the uh, the downturn and they want to figure out how to maintain that agility and speed in decision making uh, after the uh, after the uh, you know the pandemic and how do you use that particular technology to reshape or reimagine or rescale or update your operating models for the profitable growth of a business. I mean, that's that's how this gets applied. I think we're in the middle of Schumpeter's Gale of creative destruction. And so <laughs> that's an economic theory that really resonates right now where businesses are being destroyed and new businesses and new capabilities are rising. Um, it's really, really important that businesses understand this and. The AI is central where, where we're involved with to these transformations. So every enterprise will become an AI business um, because those that don't will fail in this environment.